The destructive Dixie fire continues to burn out of control. Fire crews are facing an uphill battle with all the dry fuel and weather working against them. That stable air makes it so it's difficult for us to see the fire. It's difficult for aircraft to do their job. From KTVU Fox 2 News, this is The Four. The Dixie Fire exploded overnight, rapidly burning through an additional 100,000 acres. And right now, containment remains at 35%. The Dixie Fire is now the third largest wildfire in California history and has burned more than 432,000 acres in total. Welcome to The Four. I'm Jana Katsuyama. Alex and Heather have the day off. This afternoon, fire crews face another day of extreme challenges that are making it very difficult to get ahead of this fire. KTV's Tom Baker joined us now live from the newsroom with the latest on exactly what's making it so hard for firefighters. Tom? Well, there are just uh, plenty of things uh, that you've talked about, and uh, the reality of the situation is, is that uh, this is a fire that is so stubborn, they really can barely get their hands around it, so much so that they have to bring in extra people. Here's that report. The tiny hamlet of Canyon Dam right next to the dam that forms Lake Almanor is no more after the Dixie Fire consumed Greenville the day before. As of the 2010 census, the population was 31, down from 37 in 2000. The biggest concern now, extinguish any and all embers in the burned areas so winds cannot send them flying. Typically, we, we go two or three hundred feet in for doing mop-up. On this fire, they're going 500 to 700 feet in some places, as much as two miles, to protect the unburned stuff from embers on the inside being blown outside and starting new fires. While the fire is not being wind whipped right now, which makes it do crazy things fast, the towering smoke hampers aerial drops of water and red fire retardant. That stable air makes it so it's difficult for us to see the fire. It's difficult for aircraft to do their jobs. But newly available infrared sensors can see right through the smoke and alert ground crews about unseen or unknown ember-fed flare-ups. A spot fire occurred a significant distance away from the fire. It grew to 20 acres. They would not have known that fire was there at all if it hadn't been for infrared imaging. CAL FIRE has no choice but to bring in many more resources. We're not going to put our firefighters in danger. So, you know, if, they, if there's an area where they're working and all of a sudden conditions become too bad, we are going to pull them out and um, bring them to a place where they're going to be safe. Now check this out. The new resources are being added to the 5,222 firefighters already there, 88 hand crews, 418 engines, 121 water tenders, 24 helicopters, and 110 dozers already there in this incredibly dangerous battle that could incinerate many more hamlets and towns before it really is defeated. Tom Vacar, KTVU Fox 2 News. Tom, thank you.